Hi everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful feather pens. They will make awesome gifts too. <laughs> video I will be showing you two ways that you can make your own feather pens by using small feathers and large feathers. I will also be showing you how I painted my feathers to give them a personalized touch and how I decorated them to make each one of them unique. I think that these pens will make amazing gifts. Wouldn't it be a fabulous idea to give a journal book along with a pen as a gift? These pens are so much fun to write with and I think that it's going to encourage me to write in my journal more often. <laughs> now let me show you how easy and creative these pens are to make. You're gonna love this. Let's get started. I love to collect feathers of all kinds and when I went to go visit my daughter this summer I felt like I struck gold when I saw all the feathers that the geese had left on the ground around her pond. So we collected as many feathers as we could find. Ooh, that's a good one. Look, there's another one. It's like Easter egg hunts. Now I lay out all my feathers and carefully pick the feathers that I want to use. I use regular dish soap to wash my feathers by simply swooshing the feathers in warm soapy water, rinsing them off, and then letting them dry. You might have to fix your feathers a little so they dry nicely. Once my feathers are dry, I use acrylic paint to paint designs on the feathers. I painted solid colors on some of them. I had to give the solid colored feathers two coats. Some of the feathers didn't get a solid color, but they just got a simple design painted on them, like this one. And of course, you don't have to paint them at all if you don't want to. On my solid colored feathers, I had fun adding pictures and designs to give them original styles. The ideas are endless. I always enjoy researching the symbolism behind animals, crystals, and symbols to add to each piece of my artwork. It keeps it interesting for me and adds an extra level of intention for each piece. Such fun! Now let's make our feather a pen. I use big pens because they are easy to get apart and I had an extra pack of them in the office. Some of your feathers will have large quills and you can simply insert the ink cartridge into the center of the quill. But some have small quills and you will have to use the whole pen. Don't worry, you won't be able to see the pen once we decorate it. I need to take the end cap off of the pen if I am going to use the whole pen. I take the ink cartridge out of the pen like this. Now use something long and thin to push the end cap off. I used a barbecue skewer and it worked perfectly. Now I put the ink cartridge back into the shell of the pen and then I insert the feather into the top of my pen like this. I use E6000 adhesive to decorate my pens and I cover the shell of the pen by gluing hemp string, twine, or crochet string around the whole shell. I wrap it all the way down the base of the pen like this. I cover all my feather pen quills. It gives them style and it also makes a comfortable pen to hold. The second way to make the feather a pen is by cutting off the very tip of the feather, then inserting the ink cartridge into the quill to see how much of the cartridge needs to be cut off. I estimate how much needs to be cut off and then I cut the end off of the cartridge like this. Then I insert the ink cartridge into the quill and it fits perfectly. Now I want to show you how easy it is to attach your bead strings. I use beading cord, but any string that your beads will fit on will work. I cut the cord and then tied it onto the base of the feather. I beaded the string, tied a knot, and put a dab of glue on the knot so it wouldn't come undone. Now I want to show you how each one of my pens turned out and what embellishments I used. The first pen that I will show you is my heavenly pen. I gave my heavenly pen a light coat of dark blue paint and then gave it twinkling stars and a moon. Then I used white feathers around the base which reminded me of clouds. I used hemp string for the quill and I finished it off with turquoise, clear quartz crystals and a pearl bead. It's like heaven in my hand. Here is my mother nature pen. I painted tree branches and leaves on this feather and used green twine for the quill. 
I used pea stone jasper and paintbrush jasper beads and I added leaf embellishments to finish it off. I feel as if I'm holding Mother Nature's hand when I write with this pen. This next pen I will call my symbol pen. I started with a base coat of yellow. At the top of the feather I have a symbol representing creativity. I also used a circle and then a lizard represents dream time. Next I used the infinity symbol. The turquoise starfish are awesome and a very interesting symbol too. I used amethyst beads and then hemp string for the quill. On the other side I used paw prints to represent the path we all walk on. This pen reminds me of the deeper meaning of life that I so love to explore. This next pen is called my blue heron pen. I often see these majestic birds watching us closely whenever we are out fishing. That is where I found this feather and I decided to leave the feather to all of its natural beauty and not paint it at all. I used these pretty brown feathers at the base, which I got at the craft section, and glued them on one at a time. I used dark brown hemp string for the quill, and the final touch was Labradorite, Chameleon, Pearl, and Wood Beads. This pen is as glorious as the Blue Heron in all its beauty. Now I will show you my butterfly pen. This is a simple pen. I painted pink and purple butterflies on the feather and I wrapped the quill with pink and purple crochet thread. I used amethyst, rose quartz, and clear quartz crystals for the beads. I also used pink shells because they glittered in the light. I adore butterflies and this pen reminds me of butterfly kisses and their beautiful colors. Here is what I call my spiral pen. I love drawing spirals, painting spirals, and making spirals with wire. So I painted spirals on this feather. Then I use copper wire to make a spiral at the top and bottom of the quill. I also use the wire to wrap beads down the front of the pen. I use red jasper, pearl, turquoise, wood beads, and feather embellishments for this pen. I wrap the quill with dark brown hemp string. I love the fact that even the small feathers can make such a lovely pen. The final pen is what I call my harvest moon pen. Autumn is my favorite season, so I wanted to make a pen that makes me think of harvest time and all that there is to be thankful for. I started out with the base coat of blue and added the harvest moon on both sides of the feather. I made a silhouette of an owl in an autumn tree on one side and silhouettes of cornstalks on the other. I can almost hear them rustle in the breeze. I used red crochet string for the quill and the beads I used were black onyx, turquoise, red coral, and hematite. This pen will bring me back to my favorite season no matter what time of year it is. I love it. You can use my ideas to come up with your own ideas to make your pens unique and personal. I had such a hard time choosing which feather pen I like the best because I like them all so much. But I wanted to choose one to keep for myself and I decided that my heavenly pen is probably my favorite. I would love to hear which one of my pens you like best and why you picked that one to be your favorite. I can't wait to read your comments. I want to take a moment and give a very special shout out to my daughter Kimberly because she just started her very own craft channel called Kimberly's Chalkboard. Kimberly has helped me with my videos in the past and she has such awesome ideas. I can't wait to see all her new ideas. I will leave a link to her channel down below. Please encourage her by subscribing. I love you Kimberly. We hit 10,000 subscribers this week and we want to say thank you very much for all your love and support. Our YouTube experience has been a blast and we owe it all to you. Many blessings and thanks again. We love you. I hope that this video inspires you to make your own feather pen. I'd love to hear from you if you give it a try. Check out our Facebook page. We love it when you share your crafts with us. Look at this adorably precious doll that Dahlia had made and shared with us last week. Awesome job, Dahlia. I'm going to leave a link to our string doll tutorial down below in case you haven't given that craft a try yet. Thank you so much for watching and sharing. I'll see you next time. Bye! We're collecting feathers. Yes, we are. This is fun. Yeah. What are you going to make with these, Kim? We're going to make a goose out of them. <laughs> that one is pretty. Look at that. Big one. It's like it's bigger nice than my one. face. Yeah. <laughs>
find one, Corey? What'd you find? Not a good one. That's Dennis. a good one. Oh, okay. It'd be yeah, great for you. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Come on, waddle to the water. 